<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and uh, well, I believe welcome to the very first video I am posting for 2023. And it's gonna should be a very interesting one. Um, now, I believe most of you know my stance when it comes to like fan games, or in terms of covering them. Like, I know I get a lot of requests, especially for the Ace Attorney fan games, cover them, they're really good, some of them are fantastic, but I always felt a little blah about it, I'm like, eh, you know, like, it, it seems like stuff I would do more so on my own time, you know, and check it out, I, I wasn't like super freaking interested about doing certain fan games. However, this came upon my radar a couple weeks ago. And I absolutely have no idea how it just completely blindsided me in terms of, like, not knowing about it, considering how much of a fan I am of the Danganronpa series. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fan game entitled Project Eden's Garden. Now, regarding Eden's Garden, it is a, uh, it's a non-profit Danganronpa fan game. Now, once again, you guys know my stance about fan games. Like, oh, okay, you know, people put, you know, a lot of time and effort into it, but uh, in terms of covering it, uh, it, you know, I just never really was into it. But after learning a, a little bit more and then learning to see just how much time and effort went into this, I figured it might be kind of fun to take a look into this. Uh, chapter Zero, or the prologue chapter, was just released a few weeks ago, and I figured I think it'd be kind of fun to see how this is, to see how this evolves, and kind of take it from there. Now, as I said, this is a non-profit Danganronpa fan game, and I'm taking this just based off their uh, webpage, which I'll, I'll include in the description below, but uh, it's going to have brand new characters, a whole brand new world, different stories, and, like, that's kind of what I like, where it is it is a fan game, yes, but completely different characters and settings and all that. That I like a lot. So, uh, that's kind of what drew me into, like, seeing how this is going to play out. Um, now, I have no, I, no idea how long this is going to take. I mean... I was planning to do this one video, no matter how long it takes to kind of get through it. And then, uh, as the game is still being developed and more chapters released, I think I'll just take it from there. Uh, once again, I'm going to include their information in the description below, uh, in terms of, so you guys can keep up with any updates they have, any events that they currently got going on, and, uh, just kind of take it from there. So, uh, and I can just already tell just from the music alone, like, okay. That's that's a lot of effort. Um, so we'll take a look at the options really quick. So background sound effects. Wow! I didn't know this had voice acting in it. <laughs> okay. Damn. Where was I? I I, I could have tried auditioning for it. Oh, that's definitely an interesting voice. Maybe is this that is that this game's uh Monokuma? We'll see. Uh I think I'll keep everything as is. Uh obviously this is on the PC. I 
highly doubt this is going to be in any other platform just because of the nature of it, but... Okay. Let's just dive in here. Uh, wow, yep. Yeah, just like Dying Rampa in terms of the logic and the action. Uh, let's put both on normal for a time being. Ah, no, 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 no. There you go. This should be very cool. Um, like I said, I have no idea what to expect. So, uh, just take it from there. Oh, that, that's a very nice sentence to begin this with. Life has no real meaning. We exist by just by chance. Born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give the world a purpose. People like me. Those who shine brighter than the others, who have an influence on our greater society. Ultimates. We're known as Ultimates. Wow. Yeah. Like, the music is fantastic already. The sound effects are different. Th they nailed the style alone already. This is awesome. Ultimate titles are awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential politicians. The most creative architects. These are people who deserve lifelong recognition. Who define what it means to be a true ultimate. I, Damon Maitsu, am the ultimate debater. A prodigy among prodigies. Someone who simply can't be outmatched. I hold on to my title dearly. Because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. Among a sea of mediocrity, I am a shining example of talent. And now, there's a school worthy of me. Wow. It's cool to see a, uh, a protagonist very, uh, I was going to say confident in, in their own abilities, for sure. Dear Mr. Diamond Matsu, I, I'm, I probably apologize, I'm going to butcher the names here. The ultimate debater. Okay. Congratulations. For your contributions as an ultimate, we cordially invite you to attend Eden Gardens, Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized college for academic-based talents. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp of your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who receive this invitation will gain an ever-important proficiency at leadership, communication, and persuasion. In an age where everyone, anyone, can be called ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as a true face of talent. Keep, please keep the contents of this invitation, as well as the attached registration materials, strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is built on a foundation of privacy. Eden's Garden Academy, an ultimate academy for true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate T uh, Talent Program, a government institution that has awarded ultimate titles to people for almost the last century. We don't apply for the UTP schools. They scout for their students, which is how I find myself receiving a letter from Eden's Garden Academy. It looks to be an amazing school. Immaculate architecture, incredible, incredible workspaces, and access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called ultimate. In my 18 years of living, I've accomplished more than most people could ever dream of. Within this random, chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't as nice looking as I expected. At least, not for a school of this caliber. But it was undeniably the one. With luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This is the start of my new life. The start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I'll finally be able, uh, I'll finally be among people as great as me. Huh? Someone else is here. Huh? Someone else? Hey, hey! 
Babe, welcome to the Eden's Club. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? This is fantastic. I just... If you guys are looking for another Danganronpa, play this already. I mean, I'm only like 10 minutes in, but uh, these new characters, the art style, and I'm, I'm hoping we delve more into the gameplay in, in terms of like searching around the areas and I'm assuming the class trials. I think it's going to be insane. In front of me, spread out across the train carriage, was a group of strange looking people. A girl with pink hair, some guy in a wolf costume. One guy in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. What the hell? Are these creepy people really attending the same academy as me? Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from its halt. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! Over here! Okay. Hello, can you hear me? It seemed to have caught the attention of one of the other passengers. What now? What do you want? What if... Cool, so, uh, I was wondering something. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Uh, uh, oh, um, sure. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Howdy. What the hell, howdy? Uh, do I want to go with the southern accent? Excuse me, but you don't happen to know where the final stop is, do you? A girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, could people just leave me alone for five minutes? No. Not a clue, but you can try looking for... Uh... <laughs> the words got, got caught in my throat when I, looked, when I turned to look at her. This woman... had to be twice my size! Uh -huh. Hmm? Is something wrong? Uh, I, uh, I... I... Uh, I... <laughs> Don't fret, darling. I'll just see. I'll just see who else is around. And I apologize for the terrible accent. I'm just messing around. With a small wave, she walked away. The people here just keep getting weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class. Not wanting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself a seat by the window. The situation was nothing like I expected, but at least the view from the train was nice. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkle like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be a, a more radical departure from home. Scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. The chatter from the others on the train eventually softened, leaving just me in the rolling mountains. <laughs> Nearby, a woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air. Started sniffing? <laughs> After a moment, the expression of her face turned stone cold serious. Something is wrong. The air doesn't smell right. Oi! Huh? The air? Black. Hey, I smell something too. Excuse me. Could you describe it? Hmm. hmm kind of chemically. It's almost like it's coming from. What about that bag over there? She pointed at the travel bag at the opposite end of the car. Well, shoot. Oh, shoot. You mean this one right next to me? Let me think. I just don't smell anything funky. Well, that's probably because of the helmet. Pardon me. Is that your bag? Not a chance. Nope. It was already here when I got on the train. Weird. Hmm. That's weird. There's no name tag or anything. After inspecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling with its lock. <laughs> Cool, you got it open! Uh, uh that wasn't the lock. Uh, huh? Are you okay? No. Yeah, bro. I'm all good. I just feel kinda uh, and there he goes. Christ almighty! Okay. Wait a minute. This is called tension, but hold on a minute. This definitely sounds like the great Ace Attorney music somehow. <laughs> oh no, that's no, a little different now. Okay, so there's definitely tension going on. Shit. D did he just pass out? From the same man in the car, the guy who's been staring at me earlier. I'm 
Not feeling so good either. Hang on. What did you say? Good night. Oh. What the? Aw, oh, people are dropping like flies. Holy. Oh crap, someone get help. For real? Oh, let me try to alert the conductor or whatever. She ran over to the door to connect it to the adjacent car. Oh, crud. It's not opening. Why isn't it opening? Stand back. I want to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a sec? He yanked at the door, but... Bad news. Damn, the car is locked up as tight as a prison. And holy crap, that deep voice. I wish I could do that. Come off the grass. Oh, hmm. Does she have a kind of like a, um... Is it like a British accent? I, mean, I can't exactly tell right off the bat. Huh? But I left to take a piss like an hour ago. <sighs> Ugh. Let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door of all his might. <sighs> he groaned and stepped back, revealing he hadn't even left a mark on the door. <sighs> what? That did nothing. <gasps> oh, there's another boy has fallen. A girl too. <sighs> Why is everyone passing out? Damn it. Shit. Maybe it's got something to do with that bad we- uh, The air around me had grown thick with a strange pungent smell. Somebody farted. I could taste it. Feel it sting my eyes. God. No. Don't. As a futile plea left my lips, I, left, I felt my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me. And then- there was nothing. Oh, that's fantastic. Prologue. Vows woven by stitches and needles. Excuse me, I'll take a drink and drink of water. <laughs> huh? What is that humming noise? It sounded almost like an air conditioner. But if it's an air con... Why am I so warm? I weakly opened my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. A concrete ceiling? My body's so heavy. But I had to get on my feet. I had to see where I was. Huh? It's a girl. Could... Could it be that she's... No, 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 she's still breathing. She's... She, so she's asleep. Just like how... Just like how I was? Kneeling down to her level, I reached out my hand to shake her. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Bringing my face closer to hers, I repeated the question. Hey, can you hear me? Why isn't she waking up? Do I actually have to- Holy! Don't do that to me, game! Her eyes snapped open, causing me to jump back. Hello. I was just testing you. Huh? Testing... me? Hmm. To see what you would do. It's not every day you find a body on the floor. That's... So you were awake the whole time? Correct. I woke up before you, yes. And she just let me sleep? Anyways. Uh, how long was I out for? Not sure. I don't know. I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also startled to see a stranger. You see? One could never know if they're in the presence of a friend or foe. Hmm. Which is why I needed to see for myself just how much I could trust you. By lying on the floor, by making herself vulnerable? Jesus, she makes no sense. As an excuse to break off the conversation, I started to look around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler room, but there didn't, uh, there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from a vent so set far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I was standing on a platform of stairs that led down to the rest of the room. The lower floor was mildly flooded, and say the water reached a little above my ankles. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. <laughs> Even with all the strange things around me, my gaze kept returning to this girl. There's something about her that seemed almost... familiar. Oh, wait. Oh, that's it! 
She was on the train I boarded. Hey, we've met before. Mm. On that train. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Things turned upside down not long after you arrived. A strange smell started to come from that travel bag, and then everything turned black. Right. Just what the hell was that? Listen to me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with a gas bomb or something. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. Sounds like she's been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why why it took her so long to wake me up. I see. Well, sure, I was thinking the same, but whose bag was it? Why did they want to knock us out? And why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. Considering our surroundings, some sort of boiler room? As she raised a hand to push up her glasses, something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. It looked vaguely like... a watch? Eh? Hey, what's that in your hand? Well? You tell me. It appears you have one as well. Huh? At those words, I looked down at my hand. What the... Uh, sure enough, I was wearing the same device. It's been fitted tightly around my wrist, but it felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Damn it. Okay, sexy Flanders, you this is, <laughs> feels like wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Uh, you, you gotta love yourself some classic Simpsons. At least I do. Frankly, I haven't watched the show. I forgot, like, it's probably, I want to say it feels like 15, 20 years. That's what it seems like, but, eh. Hey, I'm not wearing this. As I grabbed a hold of the device and pulled, a tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. <laughs> How humiliating. Sorry, I should have warned you. If you try taking it off, it shocks you. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Shit. What's going on here? Why am I wearing the weird shock collar thing? Who put this on me? Look. You can touch the screen, though. Eh? See? Like this. She tapped the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Hmm. Oh. So like a watch. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's just project projecting a blank screen for some reason. So... Either way, it seems we're stuck with this device for the time being. Moving on. While you're standing there, the least you can do is give me your name. We didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> Daimon Matsu. Ultimate debater. I'm a student at Eden's Garden Academy. Interesting. Hmm. How interesting. Eh? What is? Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sure it is. The pain from the shock was finally subsiding. It's as good as a time as any to get a better grasp of this room. Maybe there's something in here that can explain the flooding. Or even better, that annoying mechanical noise. Yay! Welcome to Project Eden's Garden. A lot has happened already, and I'm sure you're eager to investigate. I sure am! But there are some things you should get acquainted with. Okay. To access the trinket, or as Damon so colloquially put it, the watch, I gotta push the F1 key. Wow, function key. Alright. To view past dialogue, I push F2. And to access observation mode, ooh, press the enter key. Press the enter key again to exit this mode. Oh, and use the WASD keys to pan around the room. If you ever need to revisit this information, check out the control panel. It's just one F3 key away. That's all for now. Go forth and explore. Cool. Yeah, no, this is... They definitely put a lot of work into this. I mean, yes, it's a it's a Danganronpa... Uh, Fan game, but brand new characters, settings, world, everything. This is what I love to see. It's almost like a, like if the actual creators made a spinoff, and then this is something you'd you'd find. Ah, excuse me, I was drinking more water there. Uh, let's try the the function keys first. So F one brings up the uh, what they said the um, the trinket, I guess. Uh, there we go. So we have a backlog. We can save, load. 
option, going back to the main menu. Okay. And I get out of that pushing escape. F2 is the uh, past dialogue. F3 is the controls. So, um... Oh, interesting. I have, have a thing just for leaving the room, which I think the other games did as well. So I push enter. Nothing happened? Oh, my bad. I was pushing enter, like, on my keypad, but, like, you, you have to push enter, like, on the main keyboard. So, this is... Interesting. I, I like the... It's kind of like, you know, any, like... I, I feel like Arkham Asylum started this... Um... Type of, like, uh... I, I hate saying cliche, but... A gameplay mechanic where it's like a detective mode and like various modes where you can see everything but uh interesting so uh, before we talk to Eva or Sunaka I'm not really sure if I want to call them by first or last names we'll figure it out uh let's take a look around huh staring at me from a corner of the room was an expensive looking security camera had this been recently installed? It seemed better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. Interesting. You noticed that camera too? Yeah. yeah. It's really out of place. Do you think someone is watching us through it? It doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt it. Hmm. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. Eh? What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put these wrist traps on us. She... Makes a de decent point. Hmm. And I agree. And notice how, like, she did mention, like, oh, you gave us more information than I asked for. I'm assuming by giving us, giving her our ultimate title. We have no idea who she is yet or what her ultimate thing is. She does remind me of Kirigiri, so it's like, is she, like, the ultimate detective or whatever? Maybe. Maybe not. So if I click on it again, is it just going to be the same thing? Staring in the corner of the room was an expensive-looking security camera. Had this been recently installed? Okay. So, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, now, I got a little spoiled from some recent point-and-click games, but, like, some of them have, like, these hotspot buttons where you just push it and it'll tell you exactly what you can and cannot investigate. But, it's all good. There might be something useful in this pile of dusty boxes. Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope, there's nothing in here but junk. Listen, duct tape is not junk. You can fix literally anything with that. There's a generator under the vent. Is this what's making a mechanical noise? Seeing it in the water put me on a, on a bit of edge, but I was thinking of checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. That seemed to be it. The room's uh, too run down for me to investigate anything else. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Eva approach the, the pile of boxes and fish out a light bulb. Then, without hesitation, she ch uh, chucked it into the water. Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. All of a sudden, she jumped off the platform we were standing on and into the water. The hell? Seriously, what the hell are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. You're not what, you're not worried about the generator? Look. Look at the light bulb I threw into the water. Notice how it isn't flashing? That means the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. I guess she's not worried about getting her shoes wet either. <coughs> uh, okay, just give me a second. I took off my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. Trying to hide my discomfort behind a cool face, I descended into the stairs. Uh, I descended the stairs into the murky water. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded like it was coming from the direction of the vent. I see. Yep. It definitely must be the generator. Damn. We're lucky the water isn't conductive. Those exposed wires would be bad news otherwise. Interesting. For such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. It's surprising how this noise alone was enough to wake us up. <laughs> Whatever knocked us out in the train must have been pretty strong. Anyway, I explained the, the whirring noise. I wonder where all the power is going to. High up in the wall was a vent. What could be on the other side? 
Do you want to look through that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Listen to me. All right. I have an idea, but it will take some physical effort. Eh? Like what? Well? Like getting on my shoulders. Seriously? I'm not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it'll give you a boost and you can look through the window. Fair. But should I be on the one giving you the boost? Mm. I don't think you can handle it. Oh, excuse me. Saying that, she, stoo she stooped in front of the generator and motioned for me to come over. I'm talking. Make sure to tuck your feet behind your back. Behind my back. I waded over to Eva and awkwardly positioned myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? I'm fine. Just look through the window already. All right. Well, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent and a room just beyond it. I can't see what's inside a room, though. Both these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges bolted to the upper corners. Does this mean the vent can be opened? Wrapping my fingers around the grate in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. Oh, hey, I got it open. Can you see better now? Although the second vent still obstructed a lot of the room, I was able to make the make out the legs of tables and chairs. They were pretty fancy looking. It's the floor of some fancy room. We must be in a building with multiple levels. Weird that this vent opens into another room instead of outside. Huh? Just beyond the chairs, in the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. Oh, what? Somebody's already dead? Damn! A person's legs? I felt my chest tighten. Is he also passed out? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? No response. Damn it. There's gotta be a way inside this room. Eva, can you let me down? Uh, There's someone in there? Uh, I, I... Uh, I think it's a guy. He's lying on the floor, and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. Trepidation. Trepidation. This music, like, I, I, gotta, I gotta take a look into more, like, who did what, because I'm really enjoying it. I'm getting um, some, like, Resident Evil vibes a little bit. He might know something we don't. Oh, that kind of scared me there. If we're not there when he wakes up, we might lose him. So... The room's on a level above ours, you said. Right, which means that there must be stairs somewhere. Focus. I have to find them. To leave an area, press the R key. It'll confirm the choice with you, with you, and just in case you get any second thoughts. Okay. I guess there's really nothing else we can do. Let's see if we can talk, talk to her once more. Hello. What is it? <coughs> uh, nothing. Alright. Let's just go ahead and get out of the room. Are you sure you want to leave? Yeah. And we are. As soon as I was out of the water, I threw on my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. I hope you dried off your feet somehow. Because I feel like the feeling of wet socks and putting them on is just a... Ugh, I hate that feeling. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally derelict hallway. The walls and floor are an old, matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, where the corridor took a sharp turn, was what looked to be a sunlight hitting the wall. Does that mean there's an exit right around the corner? Hang on. Duh! Don't go running off without me. Huh? Hmm. I've already inspected the rooms in this hallway, so you can just ignore them. Eh? When did you do that? Do you see? While you were asleep. You weren't waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Hang on. 
your best efforts. So... Uh, poking you in the face, dragging you by the feet. I even bridal carried you at one point. I'm not sure I can believe that. Listen to me. Anyway, I haven't checked what's upstairs. I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. Come again? You didn't think to get help? No. You were obviously breathing. Really? That doesn't answer the question. You only started to wake up after I returned from my search. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless... She didn't want to leave me here alone. I can't figure her out at all. Moving on. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets, completely dilapidated, filled with random stuff. That... That was the case for every room. It's the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. As my great-grandmother's brother's friend's motivational calendar once said, you can't, progr you can't progress if you don't have the will to move. Please use the WASD keys to walk. Since you're in a hurry, you can hold down shift to sprint. Last but not least, proceed with caution. I don't I don't like that. You never know what could be hiding around the corner. Game! Don't be scaring me like that. Oh wow. This is what okay. I mean obviously since this is a PC game, you know, it's a fan game, there it's it's gonna be 60 frames, and I'm gonna try my best not to get like, uh, yeah. It's the truth. Okay, I'll check myself. Now, I still would like to, like, check the rooms. But wait, where was the door? Is this the door we came from? Oh, it is. Yeah, we just we can enter it as well. It's a little bit worrisome that we have the Danganronpa pink blood color. Um, but that's okay. It's not for every transition, though. Okay. I'm getting a little worried about that. Like, oh, be, proceed with caution. What, what the hell does that mean? Hey, look, we found another Eva in here. The room was almost identical to what Eva had described earlier. There was no real organization or meaning to anything. It was just filled with completely random crap. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? I see. It's definitely a messy place. Yes, that's right. Let's move on now. I should probably listen to her. There was no reason for me to look inside this room. Especially with her especially when we might find help. I still wanna take a look around regardless. Come on. There's a camera again. No really, no, really? there's nothing else really to investigate. So I'm kind of curious what this observation mode is going to be utilized for, then. Hmm. How humiliating. Told you so. Okay, yeah, you were right. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Um. Now, what I'm curious, like, should I do that for all the rooms? Just for the hell of it? Wait a minute. Man... I got, I got freaked out. Like, uh, never mind. So there's that room. I mean, there's there's three more. I, I don't think it's gonna be that much of a problem if I check out each one. Damn, this room looks just like the last one. Correct. I told you so. I just don't want to miss anything. Okay, the, the developers of this game put in a lot of effort into it. I just want to make sure that. I can see everything that's being offered. I am curious. I don't know how long this has been in development, either. Um, I just can't believe I just found out about this project, like, a few weeks ago. Damn. It looks just like the last Correct. one. Told you so. Okay. But look, if you ever need to use the bathroom, there's one roll of toilet paper. Actually, never mind. There's a bunch right here. Hmm. Like, it, it's, it's just awesome to see, like, it's... Them damn music is going to keep freaking me out there. Um, but, like, seeing, like, everything about it so far is just... Love and care was put into the game, absolutely. 
Um, did I check out all the rooms? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm scared what's going to be around here. Okay. What does that say? It's like C A and it's not cat or no oh that's caution. Okay. I was like, what is that? What, what's the full word? So caution. And this looks boarded never mind. I was like, is this a boarded up room? It's like it's just wood paneling across the place. Or there could be rooms behind there and, and they're just literally covering it up. I don't know. The upper floor was in a lot better condition than the one below, but that wasn't saying much. Water stains covered some parts of the walls and ceiling. I can only guess a pipe had broken and started leaking. There doesn't seem to be any mold, at the very least. So... The room of the unconscious man should be above and adjacent to that boiler room. That means it must be on the other side of this hallway, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Given we walked away from the boiler room to get here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's investigate. Okay. So that means it should be all there and turn a corner, but let's take a look around here first. There must be something. Uh, no. This is definitely not the room, the man. It's too close to the stairs. Right. Well, yeah, but I still want to take a look in there. This is, uh... It's odd in the sense that, uh... It's so empty. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. What the hell? Huh. I've seen this painting before. Well, the version without the mask. It was ages ago, uh, during middle school. Uh, my class visited a really fancy muse museum. All, all this time, I've been remembering this man as a jester. He doesn't even have the right clothes. Okay. Sheesh. I was always gave him the creeps. It's locked. Hmm. This is definitely not the right way. I know it's not, but I just want to look around. Um. Huh. I'm definitely getting some really creepy vibes, even more so from uh, this compared to. Uh, like Dong and Rapa. Like, absolutely. What the hell? Whatever bird this mask is supposed to resemble, it's a freaky looking one. So. We have a crap ton of rooms, which I'm going to assume this is going to be like everybody's dorm. <laughs> oh, it's locked. <laughs> Let's worry about that later. We need to find a room that man is in. That? What if this is it? Mm -hmm. You think we are above and adjacent to the boiler room? <clears throat> no, I don't. Let's move on. Now we can take a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we assume it's the same number on this side. That's 16? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's move on to the, the obvious looking door over here. But we still got some weird paintings. A fancy looking woman wearing a crow mask. Not something you see every day. This must be edgy modern art or something. Alright. This must be the room. Taking a deep breath, I pushed open the large doors. Hmm. 
Wow. This is a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Hmm. Okay, the vent should probably be... Boy. Ah! <laughs> Come on, game. Huh? Huh? Before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly into the side of my head. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What the... Who the hell are you? Damn it. Shit! Why did you just hit me? Mm. I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with open fucking arms. You couldn't be a you could have been a murderer. So your instinct is to attack every everything you see? <laughs> hey, I've already uh, sp spared one guy in the suit. I'm not letting my guard down a second time. Huh? Uh, a guy in a suit. Eh? Hello. Hello. This guy, oh, the outfit he's wearing. So We've met before, haven't we? Curious. Well, I was about to say, I recall seeing your faces on the train. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the two of you were standing next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all. We only formally met a few minutes ago. Oh. Uh, anyways. Well, you were still knocked out by that sleeping gas stuff, right? Soybean! Oh, don't remind me, soybean. Come again. What? Ugh. Yeah, that's right. I said it. You're a soybean, just like this loser next to me. I disagree, but we should focus on what happened on the train. <sighs> I didn't know what the fuck happened, but one second I was on the train, and the next I was surrounded by total darkness. <sighs> the place was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was going to suffocate in there. But what are you talking about? See that? See that pantry over there? Yeah. It turns out the door was unlocked. Jeez. But you were inside that pantry? <laughs> uh, when she kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. What the hell were you doing in, uh, doing while she was in there? Uh, uh -huh. uh, waking up. Yeah. <sighs> Isn't it unfair? I got stuffed in some tiny pantry while this guy had this entire floor to himself. <laughs> Whoever's responsible for this all must have been jealous of my talent. Ye won't believe how many jealous bastards turn violent in this industry. Eh? Industry? Eh? What's with a dumb face? You know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? <laughs> Uncultured swine. My name's Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. Don't forget it, soybean. Ultimate golfer Grace Madison. Is she not British? Because now all of a sudden it's, I didn't hear anything. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why the hell I kept hearing some type of accent. The ultimate golfer. Of course. Since the two of you were on that train, that means you're ultimates as well. <coughs> what about you? Hmm? Hmm? Can you tell me your ultimate talent? I'm Wolfgang Akade, the ultimate lawyer. Here's my card. Phoenix, is that you? Wolfgang Akade. <laughs> Maybe I should have known he does have a little badge there. A lawyer? <laughs> it's way better than being a golfer, but for such a young looking guy, I didn't expect him to have a talent like that. His age must be part of what makes him an ultimate. Pardon me. You look confused. Uh, I, I... I. I'm not confused, I just. I, I look too young. Is that what you think? I understand. I get it a lot. Even Miss Madison said it. Whatever you say. Cause it's true. Hold on. Well, don't you think the same can be said for yourself? I'm not wise in the way of sports, but I've always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that young women shouldn't take the reins. The sport's probably in need of a revival. <laughs> it's a tough industry, but that's cause we gotta fight for recognition. Not sit around for seven years and do do f all. <laughs> Sounds like that average high schooler, now that I think about it. Hey, how old were you when you started college? No, thank you. That's personal information that I don't intend to disclose. <laughs> You're a piece of work, aren't you? What happened to talking about the train? These guys seriously have their priorities skewed. So... You have them too. Huh? Look. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. Really? You were busy talking, so I figured you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. Hey? Wrist strap, you say? <sighs> These fuckers are more like mini shot collars. By the way... 
Those aren't mutually exclusive. I heard you the first time. Well? Say you... So you tried taking it off, did you? Yes. Yep, same with you. <sighs> Actually, it was me who tried taking it off. Stupid things zapped me when I did. Let's see... I suspected it wasn't unique to Miss Madison, though I hadn't tried removing the strap myself. Strange. Equipping everyone with a strap that looks that shocks them. What could justify doing something like that? Well, what's the purpose behind those behind these straps? Soybean! Are you daft? It's to shock us! Well, the thing is, we seem to receive a shock when we try to remove it. How can this be? So, why aren't we allowed to remove these wrist straps? <laughs> What I want to know is who even put these things on us. Hmm. The answers to, you, to those questions might be something we have to figure out ourselves. It doesn't make sense. For me to be abducted and taken somewhere I don't know? Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why? It doesn't make any sense. Why is it even happening? Hello. Hello? Are you talking to me? No. Look behind you. Huh? Confused, I turned to see what had captured everyone's attention. <laughs> okay. For a second, I thought I was seeing things. Peeking at us from the corridor was a small girl. Well, who are you? Is that a... What the, is that a fucking gremlin? Miss Madison! You'll scare her if you shout like that! Hmm? The girl left her position by the corridor and slid into the room. What is this music playing? Nonsenseless. Yeah, that sure sounds right. Now I can see for certain that she was a kid. What the hell? Why is there a kid here? For your information. I am not a gremlin. Did your mother never teach you manners? It's rude to backtalk strangers you haven't met. No way, the gremlin can talk? I just told you I'm not a gremlin. If we must make comparisons, I'd rather you liken me to something more elegant. For example, a kappa. Really? That's not much better. Be careful. But please be careful what you say to her. This girl seems awfully young. Can't you see? She doesn't seem young, she is young. What's going on here? Why is there a child wandering around? Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I also saw you on the train. You were hidden behind some other people, so you were pretty hard to see. I assume you were sitting down or something. I, I didn't even cross my mind that you might have been an actual kid. <sighs> Cowered behind a bunch of strangers, huh? Figures I didn't see it. Still, what the hell was he even doing on that train? Well, that's what I'm wondering. A kid's got no business with people like us. <laughs> I do not appreciate your misguided comments about my age. I am a professional just like the rest of you. No. You mean, you're an ultimate? Is that really true? I didn't think children could qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate! Must I keep repeating myself? I'm not a child, I'm a professional! Jeez. Well, what is it that you're so good at? Mm. So you desire to know my talent, do you? Normally I decline further conversation with rude people like you. But given our circumstances, I shall be uh, sanguine on the matter. I am Toshigo Kaira, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you, I suppose. I suppose. The ultimate matchmaker. I guess I'll call her Toshiko. That's... Um... Matchmaker? Aren't you a bit young for something like that? Get a grip! Oh, the gremlin's obviously flying about having a talent! I, I bet it snuck its way onto the train because it saw all the commotion. <laughs> now the little bastard stuck, stuck with us. Look at what you've done. Now look at what you've done. I, what the hell did I just say? I like slurred everything there. You've made her upset! Upset? Of course not! I know better than to ta take a gremlin seriously. Oi! Don't think you can just use my own insult against me! Miss Madison... <laughs> what?! Moving on. So, if I had things right, all five of us were on that train. 
What about the other people who boarded it? Do you think they've been kidnapped as well? Indeed. That is correct. Mm. Apart from us, there are 11 other people. <laughs> 11 counting us, that makes 16. Correct. That's the same number of the people who are on the train. Quite. And the same number of doors in the hallway. Hmm. I've become well acquainted with them. Filthy. The only people I've, I've been avoiding is a frustrating boy I woke up with. You wouldn't believe his manners. And she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Hmm. As is everyone else. I suppose. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they should know about you four. Very well. That would be helpful, yes. Wonderful. Okay, a little fanfare going on. I shall serve as your guide as we embark on this new journey. Take this seriously. Don't sound so happy about this. This is a kidnapping, not a college orientation. And again, it's not like I would go to the most... I, I, look, it's not like I would go to most orientations willingly. Maybe those two t events aren't that different after all. Well? Where are the others right now? Obviously, they are outside this building. <laughs> There's an exit not too far from here. Follow me. It's for the best. Uh, she seems to know more than us. It wouldn't hurt to entertain her. <laughs> Fine, let's see what this thing has up its sleeve. Outside his building. So there's even more to this place than we've already seen? Are there other buildings just like this one? Exactly how big of an area are we exploring here? Hmm. Connecting the dots. Standing here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Everybody just left without me, you bastards. Take a look around really uh, really quick first. It's a comfy looking sofa. If I sit down, I might not be able to get back up. Better refrain for now. It does look pretty damn comfy. The woman's mask poured an unmistakable nose and horns of a giraffe. Definitely not a live one, though. These images are kind of reminding me from Chicken Police. You guys remember when I streamed that game? It's been a few years now, I think. Ugh! Talk about the stuff of nightmares. Is she supposed to be a hyena? The ears are really big. Maybe it's a wild dog. Whatever. I'm wasting my time here. I forget about the mask. What's that weasel looking thing? Looks like a ferret. This painting was one I recognized. I'm pretty sure my high school team had to research it for a debate. Whatever they were, they, we were trying to argue, I scrubbed it from memory. Need to make room for the next debate somehow. One thing's for sure, the woman in the painting didn't wear a mask. And the liquid she's pouring, it definitely wasn't blood. Like, there's a menu in here? Like, what is going on? Like the rest of the room, the kitchen looked really nice. It was clean and fully equipped with utensils, and the cupboards were stocked with all kinds of food. The question is, who in this who is this kitchen even for? It can't be for us, can it? Possibly, but it worries me how there's only... What, ten seats? There's 16 of us? Hmm. This is where the loud golf girl, Grace, woke up. It would have been funnier if she was, it was shoved into the refrigerator instead. Okay. Alright, man. That's, that's something. Uh, I want to say that's everything. So, notice how an observation room... These actually stick out now. So, you know how I was talking about earlier, like, oh, I wish things, like, there was, like, a hot spot where I know what I could and can and cannot click on? Maybe I just didn't realize that this is exactly what it is. Huh. So, I, I can take a look at the fridge? Oh, crap, no one. Never mind, I guess it's part of the kitchen, never mind. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and leave now. And meet the other, meet the other people. I'm not sure how long this is going to go for. I mean, I'm already like an hour into this video. Eh, we'll see. Looks like the others are gone. Whatever. I work better alone. Alright. Now, these doors are still locked, I assume, right? 
it's locked. Okay. Let's check the, those other two doors. I know there's one in a, in a long hallway. Did I even look at this painting? It was a portrait of a girl dressed in a creepy mask. Looking at it for too long is just going to freak me out. Uh, so yeah, we have these rooms. Oh yeah, I can go in here. Interesting. Uh, the laundromat? What's the laundromat doing here? Apart from how weathered it is, or it was, it didn't match the hallway at all. Could we be in some some, uh, some kind of hotel? Maybe it fell to ruin because it didn't know how to it didn't know how to spend its budget. Maybe. Huh. Though the room itself looks shabby and old, these machines were quite modern. It's like the room I woke up in having that generator. Why are bits of modern technology scattered throughout an otherwise abandoned building? What I want to know is what the hell is this in a corner here? Hmm. Though the room itself looks shabby, okay, same thing, it's just a different viewpoint. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing here. Yep. Okay. Looks to be a screen up there, but we can't talk it. We can't look into it. Uh, nothing over here. So is that really all I can look at? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just trying to memorize what I can here. So that was the uh, laundry room. We s downstairs is the storage areas and. The boiler room. Uh, over there was a kitchen and pantry. There's also this room. I assume the... Ah, there... Jeez, that scared me. I was going to say, I assume this door in the hallway was going to be the exit. But uh, let's check this room. Oh, never mind, it's locked. I forgot. Okay. Then I guess we can move forward. Can I talk to... Yeah, I can talk to them. Hello. Toshiko isn't happy you fell behind. Jeez. I thought you guys would leave without me. Get to the point. You can save the excuses for Toshiko. I really don't care. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry, ultimate matchmaker. <laughs> You're late. Huh? You're waiting? Oi. Only because a gremlin insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until you said she said something. Unfortunately. Uh, I'm ashamed to say the same. Well. By the way, what are the others doing right now? Hmm. Exploring something else? Probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Filthy. They had the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. Hmm. If they don't want me exploring, then I suppose I'll explore by myself. Alright. Sounds like she just wanted want to show off. Are you done yet? Who cares about that? The guy's here now. Let's go already! Yes. And then the others will realize their foolishness. Wonderful. Onwards, the great outdoors. The little girl turned to the, turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for a lock I hadn't even noticed before. The door opened with a long, shrill creak, and we finally saw what was waiting outside. Despair. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to talk to the other two, but that's okay. The hell? Beautiful tragedy. Hmm. Uh oh. Hold on, man. I'm not sure if you guys can still hear me. Because, like, I was taking a look at the, uh, the program I'm recording this on, and it looked like it was acting up, oddly enough. And I just realized, oh, the goddess has been recording in 60 frames. It looks like it looks like... Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look into it later. Standing before us, bathed in sunlight, was a massive Romanesque courtyard. <laughs> Finally, some sunlight. Damn. A courtyard, I... A courtyard. I wonder if we can escape by climbing over the hedges. The hedges are tall, but if we try looking for a rope... Hold on. I doubt it's that easy. The devices we're wearing will probably shock us. Hmm. Let's see if you're right. Soybean! Go on, Soybean, climb the hedge! Stop. What the- No. 
Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? If you take a closer look at the sky, you should understand. Eh? The sky? Yes. Do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No, there's nothing standing out to... Wait. Huh? As my eyes tried to adjust to the glare of the sun, I noticed it. The shape of the clouds. They weren't normal at all. No. It's almost as if they were concave. Uh. The sky is curving inwards? How can this be? Could it be? Are we looking at a hologram? Come on. Uh, of this size? No way. There's this has got to be a 360 degree projection or something. Th that's... You mean the sky we're looking at is actually a video panorama? It sounded completely ridiculous when one said out loud, but at the same time, it made too much sense. Mm. If this is a 360 uh, projection, wouldn't that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Mm. Such is the truth I have long rec recognized. That's... Come off the grass! Uh, see, that sounded a little bit like a British accent, but I can't... Yeah, I'll just... I'm not doing any accent. Wait, you knew the sky was fake? Why'd you call this dump yard the great outdoors? It was for dramatic effect. In truth, I haven't even seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. A cause for concern. Uh, no sunlight? You really didn't see any windows in this building? No. No, not at all. <gasps> no windows means no oxygen. We might be suffocating as we speak. <laughs> Uh, we survived this long. I think we'll be okay. Hey, you're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? It's a dome with a fake sky. That's like something out of a movie. So... Maybe whoever brought brought us wanted us to create a uh, feeling of being outside in lieu of actually letting us outside. Hmm. Sure, if you want to make broad assumptions. You see? In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Fair. Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can do much about. I'd say for now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. Huh? Above the inane chatter, I heard a quiet, high-pitched noise. Sort of like a mouse's squeak. It was so unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. Hey, can you guys stop talking for a second? Is there a problem? Yeah. Did you hear that? Hey. Hear what? It almost sounds like whimpering. <laughs> oh. Strike me pink. Wait, I just heard it. Oi, you. Who the hell's crying? Quit hiding and come talk to us. <sighs> Do ignore the shrew. Her bark is worse than her bite. Who are you calling a shrew? The crying seemed to have stopped, but... Whoever it was refused to come out. Mm -hmm. Can we just leave them be? If they don't want to help, it's not our issue. Goodness. Don't be so heartless. This could be someone in need. Be careful. Um, to the girl who's crying, please excuse my friend here. None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out. Hiding will only make you more scared. You think? Do you really think that's that's going to convince them? Oh, well, I guess it did. Eh? Hello, I, um, I wasn't, um. Hello. How about you tell us your name first? Uh, Eloise Tellner. I'm the ultimate fencer. It, it's really nice to meet you all, even if it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Aw, Eloise. Her, uh, outfit reminds me of Ishimaru a little bit, but, uh. Okay. Ultimate fencer, was it? Strange. That's strange. Someone who's prolific at fighting shouldn't have reason to hide from people. That's not... Actually, it doesn't focus as much as courage as... Uh, it doesn't focus as much on courage as people think. Um... Um, the, the key to fencing is the ability to predict your uh, opponent's moves, along with having the agility to avoid them. 
acting brash may get you the first move, but it's a steady, analytical mind that secures the wind. Hmm. That's kind of impressive. Thank you. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. Listen to me. But I have to ask, why are you hiding from us? She stood there quietly, deep in thought. Okay. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was or why I was here. Kind of like... There were several strangers around me, and they were all so panicked as well. I felt like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. Oh. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like it when people can see me like that. I can't even call my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. I understand. If it's any reassurance, I seems my it seems our friends and I are in the same situation. Seriously. Well, that's probably the last thing she wants to hear. And since when? And since we were, ugh. and since when we were, I can't I talk. And since when were we friends? Well, was there anyone with you when you woke up? Mm, yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went into flight mode. Sorry. So this girl is just a is, is just as clueless as us. It seems like she also passed out on a train. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Uh, um, were you the only people in that building, by the way? Mm-hmm. Miss uh, Kayuda is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you like to join? Maybe. I think I want to stay where I am. Very well. When I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. That way, you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together as we discuss our next course of action... Yeah, I'll wait here if, if it makes things easier for everyone. Many thanks. Compared to before, she seemed to lo she looked a lot calmer. Wolfgang knew how to handle the situation pretty well. Or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. Well, I guess it's admirable. Okay, uh, can we still walk around? Oh, yes we can. Now, it does suck. It doesn't appear to be a map of some sorts yet, but uh, maybe we'll get it eventually. Maybe with the trinket. But, uh, you know, I, I know I know I said earlier before, like, you know, I, I may just keep everything in this video no, no matter how long it takes. But I really am starting to think that this is going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and just end it for today. And uh, I guess I'll continue this uh, in the next video. Like, I, I was aiming just to do like a one-off because this is like a it's, it's just a prologue chapter or whatever but this is looking like a it looks like it's going to be one of those LPs where I do in a intermittent fashion right uh, I'll just play it as new, new content comes out uh, we'll see regardless uh, thank you all for watching uh, this preview of Project Eden's Garden. And I guess I'll see you guys next time for uh, the next part. So, uh, love you all so much, and don't forget to spread that love around. Have a great day, everybody.